Hello friends and welcome to a new happy learning video. Today we're going to talk about some animals that existed 65 million years ago. I am sure you have heard about the dinosaurs and I'm certain you have seen them in many films and cartoons featuring dinosaurs. But not everything that is told in these films is correct. So if you don't mind, let's find out what they are really like and how they lived. The first thing we need to understand is that people and dinosaurs never lived together. The dinosaurs lived before human beings existed and they roamed the earth for approximately 135 million years. That's a really long time. They were the dominating vertebrates. Nowadays, more than 500 different species have been identified thanks to bones and fossils found. All dinosaurs were oviparous, meaning they reproduced by laying eggs. But there were huge differences between them. Some were very small while others were absolutely enormous. So as to learn about them better, we have divided them into two major groups, Ornitischia and Cerischia. What complicated names they have! The Ornitischia, or bird-hipped dinosaurs, were herbivore, which means they only ate plants. The most well-known was the Triceratops. They were impressive, huh? The Cerischia, or lizard-hipped dinosaurs, were the ancestors of the crocodiles and lizards. Among these species, they were carnivores and herbivores, and with them then, the two most famous dinosaurs, the Diplodocus and the Tyrannosaurus. The Diplodocus was the largest dinosaur. In 1907, an entire skeleton was found measuring 27 meters. Although remains of these specimens have been found exceeding 50 meters. In these images, you can observe just how enormous they were. The Tyrannosaurus was and still is the most fearsome predator which has ever existed on our planet. It was more than 4 meters high and could be up to 12 meters in length. In its mouth, it had 60 razor sharp pointed teeth and it could run 65 kilometers per hour. The truth is, I would be absolutely petrified if I would come across such an animal. But wait a minute, how is it possible that such large and powerful animals completely disappeared off the face of the earth? Currently, the investigators are focusing on two big theories. The first is based on the impact of an asteroid or comet from outer space. The other theory maintains that the cause of the dinosaur's disappearance was due to a period of enormous volcanic activity. We actually still don't really know the truth. But what we do know with absolute certainty is that right now, at this very moment, there are still many animals in great danger of being extinct and could even disappear. All of us can help them survive. How? By respecting nature, recycling, contaminating the least bit possible, buying only what we really need. If we make these efforts, we will be able to live in a much healthier planet. And we, at the same time, will be ensuring that no animal, not a single one, will ever be in danger of extinction again. Let's hope with everybody's help we can make it. Goodbye, friends. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV. Great. You've completed the video. 
Now continue the route with the reading card, the video game, and the activity. Hello, happy friends. Are you ready to learn? I'm Sarah, and today we're going to learn about animals that disappeared from the Earth a long time ago. Exactly 65 million years ago. Do you know what animals I'm talking about? Exactly! Today, we're going to learn about why the dinosaurs vanished from the Earth. The word dinosaur means terrible lizard. But not all dinosaurs looked like lizards and not all were terrible. Actually, did you know that some of them used to fly and had feathers? They looked more like birds rather than lizards. Look, like this one. Dinosaurs lived on the Earth 150 million years ago and they left many footprints behind. But we still don't know why they disappeared. There are many theories, but the one supported by most scientists and the most credible one is... The Meteorite Theory! Apparently, a great asteroid hit the Earth and created a huge explosion. This huge explosion made the Earth's climate undergo dramatic changes. It went from humid and warm to very cold and very dry. This climate change caused by the meteorite destroyed all dinosaurs on our planet. But fortunately, it didn't terminate all species that were there at the time. Do you know some of the animals that saved their lives? For example, birds and crocodiles. I think that's so cool because I love birds. Although, I'm not such a big fan of crocodiles because I'm a little scared of them. There's one coming here now. Goodbye, happy friends. I hope you're always ready to learn. Goodbye. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hello happy friends, are you ready to learn? I'm Sarah and because I know that you love dinosaurs, today we're going to learn more about the most important types of dinosaurs. As you all know, there are lots of types of dinosaurs. Some huge ones, wow, or some smaller ones, like this one, which is the size of a hen. There were also flying dinosaurs, land dinosaurs, herbivore dinosaurs, and ferocious carnivore dinosaurs. Do you want to know more about the most important ones? Let's get to it! Diplodocus dinosaurs were gigantic. They reached up to 27 meters long and could weigh up to 20 tons. That's 20,000 kilos. Because they were herbivores, I can't even imagine how much grass they had to eat. Wow! Velociraptors were carnivores and they weighed about 15 kilos. 
They were about the size of a contemporary wolf. We believe that they used to hunt in herds. That way, they could hunt prey way larger than them. Wow! Tyrannosaurus rex were 12 to 30 meters long. 4 meters high and could weigh between 6 to 8,000 kilos. They were carnivores and they are the most feared and ferocious land animals ever to exist. <gasps> they were very fast. They could reach more than 65 kilometers an hour. Triceratops actually remind me of rhinos. They were 9 meters long and weighed 6 tons. They are the largest animals with horns ever to exist. And as you can see in the images, their horns were also huge. Before I leave, did you know that paleontologists believe that there were more than a thousand dinosaur species? By the way, do you know that paleontologists are people who study dinosaurs? Goodbye happy friends, see you next time, I hope you're always ready to learn. Goodbye! Great! You've completed the video. Now continue the route with the reading card, the video game and the activity. Hello friends and welcome to a new happy learning video. Today, we're going to learn about the crocodile, a very carnivorous reptile. As we all know, crocodiles are reptiles, and like all reptiles, their body is covered in scales. Thick, hard scales, which protect the animal, serving as its armour. Crocodiles appeared on Earth 200 million years ago, which means they actually lived with the dinosaurs. Isn't that incredible? Crocodiles are oviparous. Look at these little guys who have just hatched from their eggs. They have very strong muscles on their tail and they use them to move in the water. On land, on the other hand, they aren't so fast and they walk very slowly on their four feet. The crocodile's lungs are enormous. They can hold their breath for up to six hours underwater. They're fantastic divers. Crocodiles regulate their body temperature depending on how hot or cold it is. That's why they love sunbathing by the river's edge. They are also carnivorous creatures. When they are young, they eat crabs, frogs, insects, and other small animals. But as they grow older, they ate fish and large mammals and prey on lost and confused animals like this poor rodent. Whoa, he only just managed to escape. Phew. Crocodiles hunt and move stealthily underwater so as not to alert their prey until all of a sudden, bang. They leap out of the water at top speed and grab their victim with powerful jaws. Do you know how many teeth crocodiles have? They have almost 80 sharp teeth. But because they use them so much, some actually fall out. But this isn't a problem because they soon grow back again. They can have up to 3,000 teeth during their lifetime. Look, look. Watch how it hunts! Crocodiles can live up to 80 years, but many don't reach that age. Yes, it's true that crocodiles can pose a threat to us humans, but sadly human beings are a much greater threat for crocodiles. Crocodiles are hunted and their skin is used to make wallets, shoes, belts, bags and many more things and crocodile meat is a speciality in a lot of countries. 
they have completely disappeared in a lot of places and in others they are sadly disappearing too. They are in danger of becoming completely extinct, but we must not allow this to happen. Even though they are a little bit scary, we cannot let crocodiles, or any other animal for that matter, disappear from their habitat. They are extremely important for nature's balance. So as always, from Happy Learning, we want to ask you to look after the environment as well as all living creatures, since all of them no matter how dangerous or insignificant they may seem, are crucial for life's balance, they are crucial for nature. Bye friends, see you in the next video. Great, you've completed the video. Now continue the route with the reading card, the video game, and the activity. Hello friends and welcome to a new Happy Learning video. Today we're going to learn about the largest lizard in the world, the Komodo dragon. Komodo dragons were discovered in 1910 on some remote Indonesian islands. And although they don't breathe fire or fly, they are indeed very dangerous animals. These large reptiles like all other reptiles, are born from eggs, like these tiny crocodiles. The Komodo dragon's bodies are covered by hard, thick scales, which protect them from all sorts of dangers. When they are adults, they can grow up to 3 meters in length and weigh more than 90 kilos. They are carnivorous and their jaws are wide, strong and extremely powerful. They have close to 60 razor-sharp teeth, which they use to tear apart their victim's flesh. Their saliva is very infectious, almost even venomous. When they bite their prey, their wound rapidly becomes infected and kills them. They can eat up to 80% of their own weight in a single meal. They are quite the guzzlers. After eating so much, they must rest a while, like this one who is taking a nice long nap. They tend to eat carrion, but they can also be great hunters, capable of detecting their prey at a distance of 10 kilometers away, thanks to their long forked tongue. Even though they don't look like it, they are fantastic athletes. They climb trees, are excellent swimmers, and can run at a speed of 29 kilometers an hour. If you don't believe me, ask this poor deer, which had a very near miss. These large lizards can live to 50 years old, but the truth is, they don't tend to live so long. Every day, there are less and less of them. Every day, they have less space to live in, and many are hunted illegally to be sold on the black market or kept for their skin. At the moment, there are only approximately 4,000 Komodo dragons in the world. Without a doubt, they are in great danger of being extinct. So, on behalf of Happy Learning, as always, we ask you to look after nature and all its living things. All animals, no matter how terrifying they may seem, are extremely important for our planet's environmental balance. So now you know, take care of it and respect it. Goodbye, friends. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.